So what you're saying is basically nothing is in the right bag. Yeah, but there does seem to be a pattern. I mean, the contents of every fifth bag has been switched. One's with six, two for seven, so one up till 28, and the pattern repeats itself. So I think a piece of paper should be in bag 111 marked eyebrow pencil. Eyebrow pencil. Eyebrow pencil. I saw it. I saw it. How'd you do that? Someone's just entered the building. Yeah, this way. Down here. It didn't look like the same piece of paper. There's two men heading this way, carrying weapons. Lieutenant Welsh tells me that you've more than lived up to your promise as a rookie. As a matter of fact, he tells me you're one of his finest officers. Which dismays me. It dismays me because I can't have anyone from the CPD making public statements that uh, inflame the situation. You know what I mean? Not sure. Am I not getting through to you, Detective? I'm really not sure, sir. All right. Let's cut the nail. Carolyn Sherman is one of the finest defense attorneys in the state. You have been talking to her. You have been talking to her client. You have been requesting evidence from the betrayal case. See, in my eyes, this is not a good thing. It's not official, sir. I hope it's not personal. You have a job to do, I expect you to do it. I just want to do what's right, sir. I'm suggesting you're not. Now, this woman was sentenced by the people to be put to death with cause. That's our mandate. Personally speaking, she deserves it. Now, the longer we drag this thing out, the more negative PR we attract to one of the greatest cities in America. So we should kill her to avoid any bad press, sir? You're a smart ass, huh? I'm going to make this very simple, Kowalski. Drop the betrayal case. That's a direct order from the state's attorney. Lieutenant, it would be a good thing if you uh, learned to control your men. What do you do? Uh, well, sir, I first came to Chicago on the trail of the killers of my father. And Detective, I have never met anyone with as great a capacity to piss off people as you. Just people I don't like, sir. Well, no, actually, Ray, even people you do like. I mean, if you think about Sandor, you beat about the Fraser, head. Lieutenant, don't shut me down on this. I'm close. All right, look, you got sick days coming. Take a couple. Go home. What you do on your own time is your business. All right? Oh, Detective, find something. <laughs> Now what? We need to find out everything we can about Jake Botrell. If his wife didn't kill him, somebody else did. They must have had a reason. Uh, crime scene videotapes. Uh, were they in any of the boxes? I didn't see them. I'm sure we won't get a second look, but I do have another source. Good. Oh, first things first. Let's uh, pull the files. Yeah, I knew Jake. Everybody loved Jake, especially the ladies. Want to know why? Yeah, uh, why? Sincerity. He had it down. You couldn't tell that he didn't mean a single word he was saying. Or that as soon as you were out of his sight, you were out of his mind. You're lucky. If anybody was in charge around here, we'd have gotten rid of those a long time ago. Thank you kindly. This is Detective Botrell's day timer, and there's several entries with a single reference, mermaid. Is that standard police nomenclature? 
I don't know no clatcher from my elbow, but uh, the mermaid, that is not uh, standard cop talk. Now here's a monthly payment reminder to Callahan. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds like a bar. Still investigating the victims. Is that not standard procedure in a homicide investigation? Well, if it's an unsolved homicide, yes, but we know the murderer on this one, so what's the point? The point is, walk in. That's all, just walk on, get out of here, okay? Thank you. Detective, how you feeling? I'm fine. No, no, you don't look too good. No, I'm fine. No, no, you look sick. You should go home. Right, I'm sick. Come in. Ray. Am I uh, interrupting uh, any? Yeah, you bet. Look at me. <laughs> Come on in. I have an offer a job, you know? Chief investigator for Flanks Insurance. <laughs> Never thought you uh, the type to retire? Well, after the Brookjaw case, uh, I don't know. Can't say I lost my nerve exactly, but I think it happened to him. Found it. But I don't think that's the same piece of paper. What do you think? How'd you get it? Evidence locker. <laughs> You broke in? You think that's the same piece of paper? If it was in the bag. Well, yeah, it was in the bag, but... But uh... what? You remember something about a piece of paper eight years ago? Listen to yourself, you're losing it. Look, I think that Bedford suppressed the evidence. Bedford's an ambitious bastard, yes, but that's as far as it goes. You tell me something. Why would he rig a trial that he already had red-handed? Look, I don't know, but that is not the same piece of paper I found eight years ago, and that is not the same piece of paper you put in evidence bag number 26. Well... If you're sure about that, we better move forward now, huh? Because the clock's ticking on that woman. No, we we don't have nothing solid yet. Jake, ever talk about the uh, mermaid? Look, I, he, it showed up in his notebooks a lot. Who knows? He was called Jake the Make. Maybe it was one of his women. He had some bad habits. There were rumors about him and Bedford's wife. I never believed them. What exactly are you looking for, Constable? Well, I'm not exactly sure, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, there are certain questions that we have that may be answered by the crime scene tape. Who knows it aren't? I was hoping that you'd be able to help us. For instance, why didn't the subject of Detective Botrell's philandering arise in court? Because it didn't help our case. Every step down that road led to a witness who testified that they heard Beth threaten to kill him in public. At some point, you cut bait and run. But it might have provided another party with a motive. No physical evidence placed anyone else inside the house. Do you believe she's guilty? That's an irrelevant question. The only real question is, do I think she should die? Constable, if you're actually onto something, be quick about it. It'll be a matter of academics in less than 30 hours. 